I recently did a heart rate accuracy test of the Amazfit GTR4 and results were surprisingly good. Check it out by the way. And now it's time to do a similar comparison for blood oxygen reading. Let's lay down some ground rules first. I will be conducting three tests and I will be comparing the results of all the three devices. Garmin Forerunner 245 Music, Amazfit T-Rex 2 and Oximeter. In the first round, I will compare Amazfit GTR4 with Amazfit T-Rex 2 and Oximeter. I will be wearing the watches and Oximeter on my right hand. And the reason for that is right middle finger is the best one for getting accurate readings from Oximeter. Another thing, to track your blood oxygen accurately, you need to wear your watch above your wrist bone. And second, watches used in this video might not be able to track blood oxygen accurately. Still, I have compared the watch to get a better idea of GTR's accuracy in general. So let's begin the test. As you can see, the results are pretty impressive for the Amazfit GTR4. In the second round, I will replace T-Rex 2 with Garmin 400 245M and will conduct the test on the same hand. Time to do it again. Let's wait for the results. I think they should be pretty close to each other. As you can see, Garmin is not able to record blood oxygen at this location. It is because you are supposed to wear your watch next to the wrist bone. However, results on Amazfit GTR4 and Oximeter are pretty close as expected. Now in the third and final round, I will be only comparing GTR4 and Oximeter. The difference here will be that I will be wearing my Amazfit GTR4 on the left hand. I know technically it's wrong to use an oximeter on the left hand, but still, let's do that. Also, I would like to say that blood oxygen tracking on smartwatches is not as accurate as an oximeter or any other medical grade device. I mean, they can come close, but they are not designed to be used as a medical diagnosis device. So let's begin with the test. Once again, you will find that similar results are being displayed here. Watch and oximeter are neck to neck. Without a doubt, Amazfit's GTR4 SpO2 tracking is pretty good. However, there are a few things you should know about. This metric can be a major source of battery drain. And unlike heart rate tracking, it only works automatically while you are resting. You can initiate manual tests, but that's not automatic tracking. If you don't really need it, you can turn it on or off from the Zap app. You will find the settings in the app under the health monitoring menu of GTR4. You can also set a low blood oxygen alert on GTR4. If enabled, then you will get alerts when your SpO2 falls below the set threshold. It can be a great tool, but it is not an alternative to medical devices. By the way, if you want to know more about what are all the metrics on smartwatches like VO2 Max. I would recommend checking out our smartwatch metrics explained video. It is pretty interesting and perfect for first time smartwatch users. Also consider subscribing as I will be coming out with a full in-depth GTR4 review very soon. With that, it's time to say goodbye. See you next time.